it's been a while since I've done one of these videos of what's hot and new within luxury fashion. What have I been seeing a lot? What have I seen cropping up? What do I think is going to rise in even more popularity? What do I think we're gonna be seeing more of? And I like to keep you ahead of the curve. So as usual, links will be below or in the shopping prompt on the screen. Let's get into it. The first one is honestly, it's very divisive, right? And I thought, let's just tackle this one first. Bottega's Ugg boots, you heard me right. There is a level of audacity and boldness and confidence. Bottega has said, look, the PSLs are back on the, uh, on the Starbucks menu and we're pumpkin carving and we're wanting knee-high suede boots. But the other thing that we're also wanting are Ugg boots. And they've said, hold on a second, we might be able to capitalize on this. Let's bring out an Ugg boot ankle height. It's got a little rubber, rubber uh, Bottega V on the back that has the Bottega Veneta debossing. It does have a, a substantial sole. You've not got your foam sole that is well known on the Ugg boots that over time sort of wear in at an angle. It, the, the, the structure ends up falling apart. You, we've all seen it happen, right? So you're not going to have that issue. So, th so there is that, right? There's a rubber sole that looks a bit more hard wearing. They, they've also sort of emulated that puddle boot style that Bottega has, you know, become quite popular for. And they're selling them and uh, people are buying them, honestly. And I think that this is something that you either think that this is the most brilliant thing and you're like, oh my gosh, yes, add me to the list. Or you're like, this is ridiculous. And for those of us that think it's ridiculous, we're gonna be surprised because people are gonna be buying these up left, right and center. Honestly, it started to happen. These haven't even hit the website yet. And already I'm seeing people post them on social media and I'm like, okay, get ready for it. Prepare ourselves. So if you are looking, if you have been searching for a designer version of an Ugg boot or an Ugg boot that does have a bit more of a substantial sole and you don't mind paying designer money for it, then these might be for you. Otherwise, stick to your originals, get your little comfy um, ankle length or like those what were those ones that were like the mini height? It was like, it was like a, almost a mock neck for the ankle. You know, those were very popular last year. You know what, at the very least, everybody's got an Ugg boot for them, except for me, I'm firmly in non-Ugg boot territory. I, I don't know how long that will last because as with my previous record of, of slander, you know, the <laughs> when I say I hate something is the minute that one version of that thing comes out that's like, Oh, that could be quite me though, couldn't it? Anyway, so let's see how long it lasts, but I am firmly non ugg boot team over here. Now, also, just to get an idea of how people are feeling about this, Gab Waller posted like an unboxing video of this, and the comment, again, we're divisive, but there's a lot of need, can't find them anywhere, wow, what, name, what are they called, this is an ugg I can get behind. And, and to be honest with you, that's the majority of it. And then there's a couple of, this is dumb, Ugg knockoffs, whatever. So listen, be surprised, you're gonna be seeing more of these around. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never, also have a podcast, check it out. Okay, so the second item, as we know, Loewe is slowly but surely discontinuing the Loewe puzzle bag. They have come out with the fold tote. This is a tote bag. It sort of emulates parts of the puzzle bag that really drew people in. The fact that it's all of, you know, these separate pieces sewn together. So you have that aspect of this bag, but also as the name suggests, the fold tote, it does sort of origami in on, it, on itself to fold flat. That is quite cool. It's great for packing. I mean, what else is that? I mean, that's sort of it. That's sort of it. But they come in two sizes. The, uh, the I think they've called it the medium size. I'm sorry, a dragonfly just flew into the window there. They come in two sizes. So you do have a sort of smaller one and then one that's a bit more sort of A4 size that would be good for work or, 
a laptop would most definitely fit in there. They've also just released the cropped fold bag, which is basically its DJOY version of itself, right? It's long and shallow, <laughs> but it's very cute and it has a zip. They have launched with monochrome colours, but for fall winter, which has started to drop, they're doing two, two colours, duo tones. So you've got that option as well. I've seen a lot of people get excited about this. Again, it's sort of that innovation of the origami of it all that's really quite nice and interesting and exactly in a world in which they're snatching away the puzzle bag. Maybe this is the closest thing we're going to get, you know, in terms of that sort of innovation and whatever. As we know, ballet flats are a big trend and it's followed us throughout this year deep into fall winter, prepare to see more of them. And we've seen lots of brands come out with their versions of this. And we've seen the popular ones, namely the Miu Miu ones, Valentino's are actually also quite popular as well. This one, fair enough. Okay, I just wanted an excuse to tell you about these, but I saw these and I was like, oh my gosh, if I was into ballet flats, these are the ones I would go for. The Mac and Mac Ballet Flats. This is my sort of third party way of participating in this trend. So if this is your vibe, please go forth so I can live vicariously through you. Um, yes, they're doing these in a few colours and they just have this really cute crystal heart trim around the opening of the shoe. <laughs> it's nice, it adds a bit of pizzazz. We haven't seen something like this in the realm of ballet flats. We've seen crystal studded ballet flats from um, Alaya and Kate, but not in this sort of way. And I just think it's a bit different. It's fun and it's very cute. The next item I want to talk about is an item that I actually have, and I shall include photos of me wearing it, but a very kind subscriber. Uh, gifted these to me and I have seen them around people are loving these sunglasses and they are phenomenal These are the Miu Miu wrap sunglasses. They are giving very Y2K Chanel vibes. Okay. I mean like it looks like something that's just been plucked straight from <sighs> Clueless or Legally Blonde those were the days, really. Those eras are untouched. But they come in a few different sort of lens colours. They have a light grey, a dark grey, and they have a sort of mauve, and that's the one that I have. I love the fact that the um, logo branding is on the lens itself. Usually it's on the arms and stuff like this. And so I just like, I just was like, oh, that's a bit different. I enjoy that. And also they look great. They go with every outfit. Also very light, easy to wear. I'm a fan. Okay, next up, uh, semi-category, because I've got two things to show you that are sort of along the same lines. Shearling slippers, okay? Hear me out here. Two brands are really going to be collecting people's coins this autumn winter. Number one, you've got Fendi. Fendi is going down the cloggy Birkenstock uh, route, right? You've got a nice little sort of shearling closed toe with the Fendi baguette logo, semi-clasp moment. Birkenstocks, but designer, much like the Uggs that we've been talking about earlier. Then you have Loewe with the Ease toe post Sandal, I think that's what it's called. It does also have some fabulous Loewe debossing in the sole there that's quite fun in case you were to, I don't know, walk in sand and you wanted to leave a fun design. Yeah, anyway, shearling lined, nice and fluffy, all of that business. I do have a PSA about shearling lined slides. I have a pair of Louis Vuitton slides that fair enough I've had for forever, but within months of me wearing them, it wasn't even a year, it was maybe like, Four months, and fair enough, I do wear them every day. Okay, keep that in your mind. <laughs> they are my home slippers. Um, they're bald. Where you put your feet, completely bald. Not a, not a, not one little hair of shearling remains in, <laughs> in those shoes. So do know that with overuse, yours may become bald. Just something to keep in mind. Now the next item is inevitably going to be hot because it has all of the elements of something that is just going to do very, very well. This is Chanel's new Kelly bag. It drops imminently and it's coming in a few colors, black, white, coral, light pink. I think that's it at the moment. It's a sort of reissue of vintage style, except that this sort of modern style has quilting. The vintage one was like a smooth leather. You've got a little sort of um, tab 
that comes forward to be closed there is a chain strap it is not removable but you can tuck it in to just make her a top handle moment also comes in three sizes there is a, a nano which is like she's tbe she's very much cards a lipstick and off you go you've got the small version which is i think the one that most of the pictures on social media are and then you have a medium I think that they're calling it I am dying to see this in person I'm not going to lie to you I don't know if I'm going to be sold on it I mean only time will tell but it is something that we're going to be seeing a lot it's going to do very very well as soon as it comes in it's going to fly out and if you do think that you like it and if you're like oh yes you know that's very my vibe I would suggest you jumping on it sooner rather than later what with price increases and if this does become something that they carry on for a few seasons they're definitely going to bump it up every season in terms of pricing the only information i have is in dollars and the small size is 4400 so i think for the uk that's you're you're gonna look at just under 4000 louis vuitton boots so we know the laureate boots that louis vuitton have been doing forever um they you know a sort of mad max um utilitarian ready for anything vibe they're very cool um i like them they just don't look good on my feet anyway they've now released sort of new styles around this are a little bit sort of more less lace up more sort of chelsea-ish boot style um and you have these tiny little lvs debossed in it that i think look quite good they have a strap across the ankle and a buckle and if you're looking for a new boot this might be something for you to consider and finally, another new bag. This is the Gucci horse bit. So I tried this one in person. It was in my recent London shopping vlog. And these are my thoughts. So currently comes in two sizes, I believe. I tried on the small. The small is a good size. The fastening is a bit fiddly in that the flap is magnetic, but you have to sort of weasel it under the horse bit to get it out. Keep that in mind. It might be a bit annoying, whatever. I like the size and the shape of the small. I didn't see the large, but I personally wouldn't gravitate towards the larger size just because I think for that sort of long shape, it's a little bit sort of like awkward. Bear in mind, it does not come with a crossbody strap. It only comes with two shoulder straps, a chain version and a leather version. I do like that they've given you the option of both. I did think that they would do like a chain strap and a leather crossbody. They clearly decided against. I am not really a, a, too much of a fan of the quilted leather ones. I think that they look nice, but it's just not... If I were to pick one now, it would be the monogram version, right? But that's just me. I think this is something that in the right colour, in the right all of that, I might go for, but that colour and variation hasn't dropped or whatever and from what I can see of pre-fall I don't think it's going to mm, it might it might it might drop pre hold on hold on because in cruise they showed one on a crossbody okay so maybe they're going to add a crossbody strap or whatever there's a cruise colour variation that's very nice that maybe I don't know okay that's interesting I'll include a picture of it um, also update on the horse bit sort of hobo style shoulder bag <laughs> that I was lusting after uh, one of you subscribers just put a pin in my dreams didn't you you spoke to an essay and apparently that's not debossed that is a uh, crocodile or alligator or whatever and because of that the bag I want is 23,000 pounds or something and um, that's not where we're at that is absolutely not where we're at and so that's not going to happen. So goodbye to those streams. Um, so this sort of horse bit clutch might be the way I'm going in a non in an non exotic route. So there we go. Let me know what you thought of um, the hot new luxury items currently out, coming out, all of that. I'm going to leave a link to another vid uh, video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are. And in the words of my father, if you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.